someday, some way We'll find a middle ground and get along and today I just want to talk to you guys about you know why I became a recruiter and you know I did it kind of late in my career once I had already had a broadening assignment most people usually just get one and I did it a little bit later in my career but I want to break it down to you man so for me there were certain things in my career that I said if I make it to a full 20 years and I decide to do the full 20 there's certain things that I'm gonna do because the army has put a lot into me, poured a lot of time and resources into me, and I wanna make sure other people have those opportunities. And one way to make sure the average American, you know, who's straight out of high school, you know, under the age of 35, anywhere from 17 to 35, has these opportunities is to actually get out here and volunteer my time as a recruiter and volunteer for this type of assignment. So when before i became a uh, recruiter i was pretty much a um a manager for the communications department handling everything it signal communications related and i said okay i've already had one broadening assignment as a drill sergeant i did that for two and a half years most people only do one broadening assignment and i was like you know what if i have the opportunity i'm gonna do a second one why because I'm having fun, um, I'm 14 years in, I'm, I'm making good rank, I'm making good promotions, good progress, might as well have a lot of fun and give somebody else the opportunity that was afforded to me. So every day, man, pretty much as a recruiter, I'm out in the community, out in the streets, lending a hand, helping out in high schools, in colleges, just letting people know that if they are struggling or if they've ever had the niche to wanna serve, I'm here to help show you how to get it done and to show you a path of least resistance. But for me, man, a kid being from Charlotte, North Carolina, not really having a pot to piss in after, you know, graduation, not ever being fed a silver spoon or having anything, you know, handed to me, I had to find my own way. And, you know, probably for about six months after I graduated, man, I would constantly go up to doors for things that I wanted for life and I would turn the handle and they would be locked and I couldn't get in. I couldn't gain access to the things that I wanted in life just because certain things weren't put in place. And for people out there, a lot of people go through this, man. They'll spend 10 years trying to open up these, all these different doors and they never can get one of them unlocked. And then, you know, pretty much I saw a little bit of light. Let me break it down. It's like when, when you talk to an army recruiter, you're like, man, I want to do all of this. And once you've opened, you've tried to open like five doors and you can't open them after you thought you've opened them. It's very humbling. So here you are looking at this door and you're like, man, I wonder is this door unlocked? And you see a little glimmer of light shining from under the, the, the crack of the door. And then you put your hand on that doorknob Okay, that's the test, that's the test, okay? And then it's unlocked, you open it, and bam, the rest is history, man. 14 years later, here I am, by opening the door of path release, uh, opening the door, which was the path of least resistance, and the door has always been there. It's just people don't, people don't gravitate towards it first because they think it's so hard. I'm here to tell you this, man, if you can struggle at a nine to five, make next to nothing, not have any good insurance, any kind of benefits. If you can do that and be content with that, then you definitely can do the army because it's it's night and day easier. Um, every time that I've been deployed, I've done my job, never had to do anything outside of my job on deployment, end up having a good time on deployment, um, eating some good food, come back in the best shape of my life. But you know that's part of the reason why I joined to be a recruiter because there's people that if I don't get out and tell them this opportunity, they'll never cross state lines and go into another state. You know, nobody in their family has ever done it and it's just not in their destiny um, to get outside of state lines. So the military, the army for me, you know, I've had the opportunity to travel to multiple companies, multiple companies and be stationed all around the world and just get to see a wide gamut, a plethora of things that I never would have got to saw if I would have still been back there in Charlotte, North Carolina, trying to unlock doors that were never gonna open for me 
or by the time that they open, I'm too old to actually do anything once I got through there. So the army gave me the opportunity to kind of figure some things out, figure actually what I wanted to do out in life. Um, definitely gave me the opportunity to find out what I'm good at because in the army, you can get qualified, trained and get experience for one job or you can change your job just like I did for recruiting and do multiple things. You know what I'm saying? So those are some of the key um, principal reasons why I decided to be a recruiter because I wanted to share this opportunity and let people know you don't have to be out there struggling. You don't have to be out there ready to drop out of college, you know, on your last year because money's an issue. Um, you know, if you want to serve your country and don't know how, I'm here to tell you how to do it. And it's not a hard process, man. One of the quickest process out there where the next three to 20 years of your life can be easy as cake easy as cake so like i said man those are the reasons why i became a recruiter a united states army recruiter okay gotta represent army all day long you know some of these same reasons is some of the same reasons why i became a drill sergeant but you gotta watch the next video on that to find out why i became a drill sergeant don't forget to comment like subscribe Check out the links in the description. Use my discount codes for 5 to 10% off your entire cart. Every day we're getting closer to something. Closer to God, closer to success, closer to information. What are you getting close to? Again, it's your boy Urban Minds Inc. shooting a gun barrel straight.